after deer season. And uh, yeah, I got my bow. First time since September that I've had my bow. And, uh, I just found a really nice buck. Uh, this is an over the counter hunt. And I don't have very many days to hunt. guiding you just don't get that many days to hunt. No, I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. Um, no different than you guys at home um, that, you know, that have a job or business. So, you know, we all got to make money in this world. And I am due to kill a buck, I hope, Lord willing. Um, this is a really nice buck. It's felt this super super breath <laughs> breast I feel super super blessed right now just to even find this buck one day hunt so Okay, there's a few does, a few more does than I thought, and uh, the big buck just keeps getting up to check those does, and um, he kind of seems to be hanging by one doe, and she's laying down, so I'm going to slip off here and try to work in close, and um, he's probably going to move by the time I get over there, but I'm just going to have to be patient, and, you know, hopefully he feeds around or ruts around, and something happens, I have the right if I'm patient, just get in close, spot stock, and, and wait on them. So we'll see what happens. Say a little prayer and go for it.
got up in there and then I, I couldn't see him. Uh, it took me a little while. And, uh, you know, got got to about where they were and I pushed it. Spook. Spook the spook the deer. Got on my on my call and called the doe back in. And uh, the buck fall. All I could see was he's a four on the right. He's real thick. Anyway, he came out 15 yards. And uh, that might not have been that far. As soon as he got to that point, I was already drawn back and I let her rip. Ran out the other side of the tree and my stomach sank. I got excited. Point blank. Just got excited. Shot the wrong buck. So I walked around the tree, there was a big buck standing there 50 yards and he trotted off. Whew. It sucks. Buck's dead. I mean, he died quick. Trophy taker T lock. Just did a number on him. You know, before I set out on this stock, I set the camera up. Said a little prayer. Said, God, this is be done. Make it done today really only going to be able to hunt the 31st so one more day and this tag was done. I ended up getting a, I didn't watch it all but looks like I got most of it on film. Sometimes it's uh, not our will. Sometimes it's his will and if you don't believe that then you know, that's fine. I'm just telling you 
my personal opinion. I'm not going to try to convert you or hold you down or thump you with the Bible. Um, that's not what this is about. I just want to tell you how it happened for me. And then it hit me. Um, a lot of people haven't even killed a mule deer buck with their bow. I've killed several now. Um, pretty picky. Been pretty picky over the last five years with my mainly by myself or with my good friend Mike. Watched him shoot two really nice bucks. One just a hog. And uh, you know I had my opportunities at some big bucks. I've been very blessed. It'd be a shitty ass person and hunter if I treated this animal with anything other than respect. The only thing I'm mad about is that he's a young buck. I hunt for the rack and, and the meat. I don't let the meat go to waste. Um, I am a trophy hunter, but despite what your perception is or people's perception is, trophy hunters, 99% of us, we eat the meat, we care about the meat, and it's the first thing we worried about. As a bow hunter, bow hunting, especially by yourself, and then on top of that, trying to film it, I'm not pat myself on the back, but very few guys can do it, and uh, I'm very blessed to be able to do it. Doesn't always happen. I don't know how many bucks I've passed bigger than this one. I mean, that I went one earlier today. And I just, again, point blank, call it like I see it. Got excited, seen four on his right, just assumed it was him, and went into that kill mode. Cost me a big buck, 175 inch plus buck, but uh, you know. A lot of other things worse than that. A lot of other things. Look at this. Can't make him look big. He just is what he is. Very humbled right now. Very, very humbled. And some of some of you guys. So some people probably turn this off right now that normally follow me. Ah, it's not, it's not that big. I love big animals. I mean, I was trying to shoot a big, big buck for this hunt, and I just, I just blew it. But records, inches, it doesn't measure your skill level. It doesn't measure the challenge. None of that measures the actual challenge and there's there's no way to figure that out we've got it wrong and what I be, mean by that is every one of us like to kill big stuff but what we've turned it into is all about the inches everything's about the inches records and it doesn't measure how you are, how, how good you are as a hunter, or how, how difficult the challenge is. So when we all look at pictures, we all love big stuff. I'm no different than anybody else. Now I'll skim over, big animal, oh, not big. I don't know the story behind it. Is as a hunting community, the inch fest to me is over. If that's what you want, that is awesome. But for me, myself, personally, I know there's a story that's why my hunters or the hunters that I guide or we guide with exclusive pursuits, I want to know the story. What's the story behind it? The story, not just selfies, not just, oh, look at this giant, look what we did, look what team big ass bulls did. The story, the buck has a story, person has a story. And I'm not saying you can't trophy hunt. I just told you how I'm a trophy hunter. But what I'm saying is, just because you're a trophy hunter 
or, or you're some kid watching this and you're thinking, oh, Craig still's a badass. I'm not a badass. I'm just a, just a dude that loves to hunt, that quit his job and put everything on the line to do this. I mean, you can do it too. You just have to want it bad enough. And it's not about the records. It's not. It's those, those will be broken and you can't measure how good you are, no matter how good you think in your mind. So I'm done venting. I just want, I want people to hunt for more. Hunt for more. Think about it. Deer loaded up in my back. The big eyes. Bow. I'm gonna put the camera up because obviously I don't have enough hands. I have about a half mile to the truck and be on my way home. Remember, I like to kill big shit, but hunt for more, man. <laughs>